Welcome to Lesson 14 Homework, Module 7, Grade 2. Got your name there. We're going to be doing some measuring here. Measure these objects found in your home with an inch tile. Record the measurements in the table provided. Now, if you don't have an inch tile, it's just a square inch, you can make one using a piece of paper and a ruler. I'll show you how to do that. Take this just so you can see this corner. I'm going to take this homework out of the way so you can see what I'm measuring. That's an inch to there, and then I want to measure this side here. That's going to be an inch there. And then I can just make this, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you just want something that's mostly square and it's about an inch. And then I'm going to cut it out with some scissors. Now, of course, you could just use the ruler to measure these things, uh, but the point of here is that we're using an inch unit and we're counting inches. So that the idea of counting inches, besides looking at a number on a ruler, is a little bit different. You want to make sure, because sometimes rulers can be tricky too. But uh, something else you can use, uh, if you can't put all that together, you can use a quarter. Uh, and it's not an inch exactly, but it's close. So you could, and it's, it's, a, little, it's a lot harder to use in a square. But if that's what you got, you could use a quarter and just count how many quarters it takes. And I'll show you how to measure with both. And I'll show you what the difference looks like and why it's easier. So here's a list of things that you have to measure. Now, I'm not going to measure all these things and write them down because everybody's stuff is going to be different. But I'm just going to pick one of them. The length of a picture frame. Do yourself a favor and pick a small picture frame. So I'm going to show you first with the square tile and then trying it with a quarter. And I'll show you why the square tile is better than the quarter. But if that's quarter is what you got, then use the quarter. So I'm going to use this pencil. I'm not going to write on the picture frame, but I just want to keep track of where I'm moving my square to. So that's one inch. That's two. Three. Four. Five. Six. So I got six squares out of that picture frame. Now, if I use the quarter, it's harder because the quarter's round. But one, two, three, four, five, six, and it's like six, and you might call that seven. Uh, so a quarter is a little bit less than less than an inch. So um, that's we know it's six because I measured it with the inch tile, but that's going to be six and this is going this looks like six and some fraction if you're using a quarter. You get, it would be close with a quarter, but that that's what you can use if you can't if you don't have a squ inch, square inch and you can't make one. So this one I counted six square inches, or six I'm sorry six inches long, six inches long. So the length of the picture frame is six inches now I'll leave it to you to measure the other things with your inch square We're just counting inches and then there's some questions here on the next page and we'll work on those Norberto begins measuring his pen with his inch tile inch tile. He marks up where each tile ends. After two times, he decides this process is taking too long and he starts to guess where the tile would end and then marks it. So this is, he's going here. Here's his, he starts here on this end. That's there. And then he moves, he draws another line here on a paper underneath the pen. 
then he moves it again here and he marks it and then he's like oh man this is kind of a bother so I'm just gonna go eh, eh, and then I think that it would be about there and about there and about there so it's uh, one two three four five six inches okay why will his answer not be correct I mean we could measure it and see exactly how long it is we could use a ruler or we could do what he should have done which was just not eyeball it at the end but keep marking and moving mark your unit and then move it mark your unit and then move it mark your unit and then move it and there we go and we should have he should have one two three four he should have five inches and he got an extra inch because well, what's the difference these marks are too close together they're he marked somehow out of these three he should have only had two uh, and this one even is a little bit less than this one even is a little bit less than a whole inch so he, may, he might be he was um, guessing on that one too so the, the question is though not what he should have got but why we gotta say why did why will his answer not be right and what what is the reason what is the mistake that he made so what did he do wrong uh, his his answer is 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 not going to be right uh, is not going to be right because all of his units are not the same size this is this one's really small that one's kind of small this one is close but it's too small so when he didn't use the the tile then he started guessing and his guesses weren't very good and he they're not so we got to say that his units are different sizes so that's why he's not counting the same unit again and again so we just write how can we write that um, we can say Alberto's units are not all the same and uh, since we're they have to be inches we could also say or just add to that um, uh, they are not all inches and that can be good right there now it says use your inch tile to measure the pen I just showed how to do that how many inch tiles long is the pen and now this is a word question this question is asked in words so we have to answer it in words and we showed the marks here that shows right here so we want to show our work for that uh, we want to show our marks there's one one and if you have to use a ruler for this you just make a mark every inch at every inch you make a mark so it's right on the pen is one two three four five inches long <laughs>